you can adjust Mercedes-Benz settings in two different places, Instrument Cluster and Central Command Unit. When you buy a new Mercedes, really the first thing you need to do is to adjust your settings. But if you've never done so, don't worry, it's never too late. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. You can adjust Mercedes-Benz settings in two different places, Instrument Cluster and Central Command Unit. On the left side of the steering wheel, you, you have a full control of the Instrument Cluster. Left and right buttons controls the menu. Up and down buttons controls the sub menu, menu of the menu. You hit OK when you want to select something and you hit back button when you want to exit from the feature. So let's select menu and as you can see once you push this button the menu appeared on your screen but if you don't do anything it will disappear. So let's go into the menu by hitting left button and if you can see on the side of the menu there are small arrows, it means you have more menu. So if you keep going left or right, it will be more menu than you can see. So let's go to the left until we see settings. Now, once we selected settings, now we can go up and down to see the menu of the settings. And as you can see, there is instrument cluster that we can change. Let's look at everything. Lights, vehicle, convenience and factory settings. And let's go back to instrument cluster and let's select it. And the way you select it is you push OK. Now you can see... Now you can see that permanent display shows outside temperature, which is on top of your instrument cluster. Press OK to change if you want to see something else. So let's press OK. And as you can see it now, it shows speed instead of the temperature and it shows kilometer per hours. So if you look on top, there is arrow. It means if we go up, there is something else. So let's go up. And as you can see, you can change display unit from speed from kilometers to miles. So, and you hit OK and press OK to change to color, but I just want to go back for right now and I want to change, I want to hit OK again and I really recommend to show outside temperature instead of speed because you have speedometer on the left side so unless you really want to see it digitally I highly recommend to show outside temperature some other models like this C-Class for example you can show both it actually displays temperature on the bottom of instruments and there is a menu it says additional speedometer so if you check mark it shows both speed and temperature you really need to look at your particular model if you can do both or you can select one of them let's exit from here and let's go to the next sub menu of the settings by going down and now we can see lights so we're going to select it by hitting OK and in this particular car, it only gives you one option inside the lights. Do you want to see daytime running lights, which are displays during daytime? I know in some countries it's a must, and I also recommend it to turn it on, for safety reasons. So let's get out from here. And let's go down to the next menu. Vehicle. Let's select it to get in. And you can see right now it's selected because it's yellow. So automatic door lock is on. Let me tell you what it is. 
So let's start the car. When you start the car, your lo your doors don't lock automatically, as you can see, uh, because the car is waiting for everyone to get inside the car before it locks. So basically, you have to start driving. Once you start driving, I think about 10 miles per hour, then it locks and you drive with locked doors. That's a really good feature. For your safety, so you drive with locked doors, so nobody can get in. You can hit OK if you want to turn it on or off, but I recommend to keep it on for safety reasons. As you can see, there is arrow showing down, so let's go down, it means there is something else over there. Acoustic lock, press OK to disable. So when you press lock and lock on your smart key, your car will make beeping noise. You can select or deselect, but I recommend to keep it on. Some features on some models you can adjust in different place, but we'll talk about it later in this video. So let's exit from here and let's go to the next. Convenience. Let's hit OK to select it. So the first feature inside the convenience tab is easy entry, easy exit feature. Every time when you open the door, the seat moves all the way back, so it's easy to get out. That feature is not available on all models. Also, when you open the door, the steering moves out of the way. So it's easy to get in and easy to get out. Now, once you get back, the seat moves back and the steering moves down to the preset position. This feature makes your life a little easier. You can turn on and off. So let's keep it on. As you can see, there is an arrow down. So if we go down, we're going to see more treasure. Let's go down. Belt adjustment. You can select or deselect. Basically, first time when you buckle up. Okay, the seat belt is kind of tightens you up and measures you and then relaxes. So in case of accident, car knows your size. It's really good for safety. I don't see any reason why would you turn it off. Keep it on. And there is another arrow. So we have some more goodies to control. Let's go down. Auto mirror folding. You can say OK or not OK. Basically, when you lock doors, all mirrors will fold. And when you unlock, all mirror will unfold. That's a good feature. So mirrors don't get broken while the car is parked by other cars, bicycles, flying balls, flying saucers, aliens, whatever. My advice is to keep it on. Let's exit. And the last submenu of the settings is factory settings. Essentially, if you select yes, everything will come back to original factory settings and all your changes will be gone. Some other models, your setting screen may look a little different, but it's exactly the same control like I just shown you. You just need to see what's available in your particular car. So now let's move from the instrument cluster to the central media controller for more settings adjustments. So there is a button that looks like a car. That's for settings. So for example, right now on your screen is a radio. Once you hit settings, it will go straight to your vehicle settings. You can also scroll to, for other adjustments. For example, dynamic select, 360 camera, consumption, operator's manual, you would need internet, uh, clock adjustment. But in this video, I'm talking about more settings. So let's dive into it. The first feature is interior lights delay. It will keep illumination for the interior where you leave the car. So to select, you hit central controller and then you control it 
by scrolling. And you can select how many seconds would you like your interior lights to stay on. You can go up to 60 seconds or you can turn it off. We usually stay at 15 seconds, but it's up to you. Next is the exterior lights delay. That's a really good feature. When you leave your car, your headlights will stay on so you can see where you're going and then it will shut down by itself. When you select how long is the delay, you should consider how long does it take you uh, to get where you need to, to go after you lock the door. When you park somewhere in the dark, I usually do it for about 30 seconds. The next is ambient light dimmer. So you can make lights more or less, that's really up to you. But basically it makes, it takes strain out of your eyes when you drive at night. Let's put five. Some models you can also change ambient light color, which is great. This car has only three. Neutral, solar, polar. Let's put polar. Next is ionization. Basically, this gives your interior fresh air smell, like it was just after the rain. Keep it on, but don't use it all the time. The next one is locator lighting. So if you push remote control, the lights will turn on so you can see where your car is. That's a great feature. I would highly recommend to turn it on. And now we're back where we started. In some other models like this C-Class, for example, some features are adjusted through the central command instead of instrument cluster. You see acoustic lag feedback. I, it's basically same features. I don't want to go over again. But some, you see belt adjustment. It's actually set up in the central controller. And in instrument cluster, they probably have different settings. So everything like I shown you, automatic mirror, locator, lighting, automatic locking, everything is all the settings are set up either through central controller or instrument cluster. It just depends on your model. You have to see. But the way it's set is exactly like I've shown you. Ambient light color is actually in the same place. Ambient light color. And usually it takes about 30 minutes to set everything but you don't have to change it all the time. Once you set, rarely you're going to change something. So all the settings, the goal is to make sure your car behaves the way you like. Your car may have slightly different settings, but the purpose of this video was for you to understand how to control it. And the question of today is, which Mercedes feature would you like to learn more about? Please let us know in the comment section below. To learn more, please visit our award-winning website mbcmaster.com